Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I am going to be I'm going to be separating the whites and the yolks of these eggs because I only want to use the egg yolks for this dish. And as you can see, I'm going to crack it open very carefully. And on the larger of the two sides, I'm going to leave the egg yolk in there. And I'm going to just going to pour it back and forth between the two halves of the cracked yolk. Just very gently, back and forth like that. Each time you do it, you lose a little more of the, of the white. Until it's done. And I'm just going to set that eggshell back here in the case because I'm nearly done with it. See, I've got four eggs here, two white and two brown because I'm all about diversity. And uh, that's what we're going to do, back and forth just like this. kind of messy. It's the nature of it. If you break one, don't worry. Just try to be careful because it's not a disaster if you get some of the white in this sauce, but I prefer to only have the yolk. can do something with these egg whites, I'm certain. There's probably a hundred different recipes for things you can bake with just the egg whites. Um, but I'm going to be horribly wasteful and just discard them. Anyway, that's that. This is rigatoni. This is what I'm going to use for the pasta. You can use spaghetti or whatever you like. It really, really, really doesn't matter. Uh, just pick a pasta you like and go on from there. I'm going to pour it in the water and uh, it should be ready in eight or ten minutes. Alright, I'm going to toss these four egg yolks back in the bowl here, and um, so one of them kind of broke, and set that aside until after the pasta is done. Um, if you still have some bacon from last week, go get it. If you want maybe four or five slices, maybe more. I went ahead and got pancetta for myself. Um, this is, uh, it's, it's bacon. Um, but uh, if you want to get pancetta, you can. If you want to use the bacon from last week, it'll be way cheaper and just as good. Okay, now we're going to start the pancetta. That is olive oil in your favorite tribal pattern on medium heat. I'm just going to put this in here. If you chopped up a whole bunch of bacon, just throw it in there. I'm making enough for four, so I am putting in the equivalent of about a half a pound of bacon. I'm probably making enough for six people. Anyway, we're going to stir that around for two, three minutes until it starts to brown. And then we'll begin adding the other ingredients. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes. You can see that the fat is starting to render out of the <clears throat> pancetta. I'm going to add in the six cloves of garlic now. And we're going to let that cook for another two, three more minutes. Just to finish letting all of the fat cook down and get this closer to bacon. Farther from ham, closer to bacon. I'm also going to add a couple of pinches of the red pepper flakes that we used 
and we have three. That's pretty good. Maybe a little bit more. Get a little bit of spice, not very much. All right, so this is a bag of sun-dried tomatoes. I prefer to get them like this rather than getting them in oil. And um, it's been another minute or so, and I'm going to take a good sort of double pinch of those and throw them right in the pan. We're almost ready to finish this up. Alright, so I'm adding just uh, maybe a half of a ladle full of the water from the pasta uh, into this egg yolk. And the point of doing that is to, to keep it from turning into scrambled eggs when we make the pasta work. So it just keeps it more like a sauce, less like scrambled eggs. You see it kind of turns into that right there. And we're about to add the, drain the pasta and add it into the rest of the pancetta. Alright, so if you have a bottle of white wine, you can get some of it out right now. I'm going to use a little bit of the red wine vinegar that we had before. And I'm just going to pour some in here. Not very much. Just trying to get that sound going. Scrape it around, clean up the edges of the pan, and we'll get assaulted with that vinegar odor. In a moment or two, I wish I had a bottle of white, it'd be tastier. But we're doing this on a budget, so. Now, put the pasta in. This is going to turn it over. Now because of how much I have here, I am going to transfer this back. I'm going to turn it off the heat. I'm going to transfer all of it over into the, the pan that I made the pasta in. All of that. Now I am going to immediately pour in my egg yolks. Stir this around. Quick, quick, quick. We do not want to end up with scrambled eggs. You want to end up with kind of a creamy sauce. Now that's there. fat handful of Pecorino Romano cheese. Romano is really salty. I suppose you could um, substitute uh, Asiago or Parmesan for that, but any kind of hard Italian cheese right in the pan there. You just keep stirring it all. What we should end up with is an amazing creamy cheesy bacony sun-dried tomatoey pasta y dish that as soon as the cheese melts you can serve and I will be serving this alongside a basic Caesar salad lettuce Caesar salad dressing and croutons if you want you can make a vinaigrette with the uh, balsamic and the oil that you have or uh, dress your salad any other way you like um, so there you have it that is pasta carbonara